What is the Epsilon program? Why have so many famous people sorted everything out? What's holding me back? Why aren't I more successful? How much does wisdom cost? Can I pay money and have all of life's answers? Yes. 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 We speak 160 languages on six continents. We are the Epsilon program. Alrighty. Hello, and ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to the Enlightenment of the Epsilon program. I'm here to guide seeking on Dickie Cheese because of what his brother has done. So I'm going to go into the bar because I know he's going to be here. Chris Formich knows everything. He knows where he's going to be and he knows where he's going to go next. Chris Formich is here. Chris Formich is there. Chris Formich is everywhere. And we're going to go inside the Yellow Jack and just chillax and see Dickie Cheese there and try to interact with him. Yo, what's up, OG? Kiff, hey. Alright, ladies and gentlemen, Dicky Icky Cheese back in the sticky. And uh, we're still looking for Mickey. Uh, yeah, just over here. What's going on, Mr. Blue Hoodie? Kiflam. What? What did you say? Kiflam. Hello there, brother. The fuck is Kiflam? Smoking is not good for you. It's too, man. Oh, he's got a spider on his foot. Kiff one. Yeah, what it, man? Yeah, babe, can you give me another beer? I'll take a shot, too. Yeah. Look, man, you want something? Kiff one, brother. Uh, what the fuck? Kiff one? Oop. Beer? Sa Becky, Sandra, whatever the fuck your name is. You know who this fucking guy is? Kiff one, uh, thanks. Uh, 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 uh. Whatever, man. Dickie's not going to like what he's going to hear, but it's the truth, and he needs to eventually go turn his brother in. Ah, fuck, man. <clears throat> I still don't know where my fucking van's at, man. I'm over here stuck driving Mickey's fucking blazer. Uh, somebody's calling me. Teflon. You again. Read the words of encouragement. The path to unity will be there for everyone. 
Sperm doesn't exist. Babies are brought by a stork. What the fuck did he just say? Sperm doesn't exist. Fucking guy. This guy's fucking weird. Chris Formitz will lead the way. Come fly with me, my little firefly, and light the way. Like, man, I don't know what your fucking deal is, but you can do that shit so Alright, Jimmy, here, here, I'm, I'm taking this beer. Uh, I'll get you next time. Actually, no, hold on, hold on. I did get paid the other day. I, I found some extra money. Chris Formich would not be happy about what you're doing. Tiss, 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 Dicky. Hello. Hello. Mickey. Hello. Uh, Mickey, you there, man? The path to enlightenment is here all around you. Uh, what? Wait. Mickey, is that you? The path to enlightenment will be all around you. Mickey's there. Mickey's here. Mickey's everywhere. Mickey's in the seat right next hey, who to the you. Fuck, who the fuck is this, man? This is someone that is here to seek for your best interest. Ah, put Mickey on the phone. That's what's my fucking best interest, man. Oh, you want to hear your buddy Mickey? Yeah, man. Give me Mickey. Where the fuck is he at? One second. Hey, hey, wait, 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 wait. Sh shut up, shut up. And M listen to Mickey. the path to enlightenment. Yeah, we know it's going. And there's a path Mickey. to enlightenment. Mickey, what the fuck are you? Hold on, we must walk. Which, take what's care. Going on? Take care of them, boys. We must walk Mickey. away. Hey, take care of who? Don't worry. The path to hey, enlightenment uh, will be no, there. No, I'm gonna worry. What the fuck is Mickey? Mickey is hey. there. Mickey is there. Mickey is in the seat no, right no, next no, to no. you. No, 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 motherfucker. <laughs> Call that motherfucker back. Hey man, you better fucking answer the phone. What? Did they just hit the fuck you button on me? Son of a bitch, nah. Who fucking answered the phone, dickhead? No, mother. <laughs> mm. That fucking blue car again. No. 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 I swear to God. Oh, this motherfucker better be in his fucking car. I'm gonna give him a fucking problem here in a second. I don't know the fuck it, what he's doing with Mickey, or if he knows. What the fuck does that even mean? Kiflam? <laughs> what the fuck does that even mean? Yes, Deborah. The paper is correct. Sperm doesn't exist. And babies yeah, are right by a store. What the fuck? Yes, the path to your light will light the way. If you just come fly with us, Firefly, we'll guide yeah, the way. Man. Too bad for Becky. She doesn't own the fucking bar no more and she's dead. Uh, hey, Charlotte. I need, uh. I need six wings. Yes, Deborah. Sperm doesn't exist. Babies are brought by a stork. The path to enlightenment is everywhere. Kiflon brothers. You should be careful on what you eat, Brother Dicky. That's not good for you. Hey, 
Hey, look. Who is this man? Chris Formich oh, wow. knows everyone's name. Who? Who the fuck is Chris Formich, man? He is the leader of the Epsilon program, the Path to Enlightenment. to enlightenment yeah and that's where so called someone that you know very deeply and love is going to go walk towards the way to the path of enlightenment and do all of his wrongs away Chris Formich has been about, watching bro? both of you guys and he's been seeing all the bad things you guys been doing he's been seeing yeah, all the I'm times that, that you've been going to jail I'm out of here too bro he being mad weird Dude, fucking people following me around, asking me stupid questions, people trying to be dumbass asses, man. All right. Hey, Crystal. I know it's been a minute since I've been in here. Give me a beer, would you? Yes, Crystal, that is correct. The paper is correct. Sperm doesn't exist. Babies are delivered by a stork. Yep. Hello there, brother. Dude, what's what's your deal, man? Like, why are you, why are you following me around everywhere I go? You're here, you're there. What what what's your what's your deal, man? And how do you even fucking know my name? The Epsilon program is everywhere. The Epsilon program knows everyone's name. Oh, yeah, no, this guy's gonna fucking try to fucking. What's your deal? Keep following me. Following you? You guys are following me. I was here before you guys. You guys showed up. You guys must want the path of enlightenment. Chris Formich will take all your wrongs and push them away, and they will Who never the fuck exist. Is Chris Formich, man? He's the man that will take all your wrongs and do them to good. Did you know sperm doesn't exist? That babies are delivered by a stork? Oh, uh, what? Be quiet. Stop following me around, please. Chris Formich won't be happy about that. Who's that? Whatever, man. I'm getting out of here. Tisk, tisk, tisk. Chris Wormich is going to be watching you guys. Kiflon, brother. Pull up to the next window and we'll take your order. Yeah, yeah, Keflon, brother. We could do that for you, Dickie Cheese. Wait, what? what that's say? that's gonna be twelve ninety five. Hell no! What are you doing here, man? That's gonna be twelve ninety five. Dude, I can barely hear you. So let's talk this way. Twelve ninety five. Why? Why are you here, man? Why are you following me? I work here. No, you don't. Yes, I do. No, it's not possible, man. I Everywhere I've gone, you've been. No, I was not at the last place you was at. My other brother was there. No, oh, man. Uh, no. You know what? Fuck the food, man. I'm out of here. <laughs> Kiflam. What? No. <laughs> no. Here you go. What's up, Brother Bob? Yes, it is correct. Sperm doesn't exist. Babies are delivered by storks. Amen. Kiflon, brother. Dude, I'm only going to ask you one more time. Why do you keep following me? I was not following you. Where were you? No, you're definitely following me. No, brother. Alright, come on. That's it. We're going somewhere. Get your hands off me, brother. Nope. Chris Formich would not be happy about this. Nah, I don't give a shit what Chris Formich wants. <laughs> Once you dump me, I'm going to spawn as Chris. Speaking of, man, I don't know what the fuck's going on with you guys, but I want to know where the fuck Mickey's at. What, brother, brother, Mickey is in trouble. What do you mean he's in trouble? He's wanted. You know that. Well, yeah, I know he's in trouble, but why the fuck did he escape custody? I don't know. You ask me. It, me ask you? 
the fuck, man? He he's the one that did it. Well, did you guys help him? No, we did not help him. We wanted to, and he didn't accept our help. Uh huh. I don't. Sure. I don't know what he did or what you guys did, but it was bad, and the cops are looking for him. Yeah, likely story, man. Uh, the caring. Sleep pad. Me, Knox, and the back of the head into water. <laughs> Get out of here, man. Smoke. Hell yeah. Hello, have you seen some guy? I'm looking for his name. His name is Brother Dickie Cheese. He looks like this. Oh yeah, he's uh right behind the bar back there by the jukebox. Oh yeah, he is. Mm -hmm. At last. Hello, my name is Chris Formich. What? <laughs> my name is Chris Formich. Hello, oh, brother Chris Dickie Ford. Cheese. Yeah, and do you know? Wait. I, I have some bad things I want to tell you about your brother and what you're, he has you're done. You're the one. You're the one that all these fucking little weirdos keep fucking following me around and keep telling me that yeah, I need to follow you. Where's yes. Mickey? Mickey? I don't know where he's at exactly, but I know whereabouts of where he could be. But I want to let you know. To learn that, we got to go somewhere more private. Maybe a certain location you like to chill, you and your brother, Mickey Flowers, and you, Dickie Look, Cheese. I've, I've looked everywhere. I've looked at the bar. I've looked at Coachella. I've looked at the mountains. I've looked at every bar. As Where I, is it? As I say, I may know some whereabouts, but we need to go talk more private. If you would like to go to your favorite spot, Brother Dickie dude, Cheese, dude, at Coachella. Dude, 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 dude how, do you even, it, how do you even know my fucking name, first off? I know everything, everyone. I'm behind you, I'm in front of you, I'm even in that jukebox playing your favorite music right now. What? I'm no. the path of the enlightenment. Do you want answers? Have you searched literature and philosophy for meaning? For years, man has combed the pages of history searching for enlightenment. Did you know that sperm you're, doesn't you're exist? Start, you're starting to fucking piss me off, man. Did you know sperm doesn't exist and babies are delivered by a Just stork? Just the fuck it does, man. He, de he delivers a new enlightenment to the window. A new path of a future of brightness. Alright, man. I'm going to tell you one time. Where the fuck is Mickey? As I say, you show up at Coachella. I will tell you some things about what your brother Mickey has done. And then you could go do a favor for me. And I will tell you the whereabouts of where I've seen him last. I will see you at Coachella, Dickie Cheese. What the fuck? How do I even know that guy's fucking real, man? That's not... No. That's... Sorry, Dickie. Here, here. Maybe it's just the weed. <laughs> no, man, it's not just... It's not the weed. You, you just smoked your first joint for the day. What the fuck? What is the Epsilon program? Why have so many famous people sorted everything out? What's holding me back? Why aren't I more successful? How much does wisdom cost? Can I pay money and have all of life's answers? Yes. 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 We speak 160 languages on six continents. We are the Epsilon Program. Uh. Oh. Where is everybody? I made sure everyone had to leave, but he doesn't know that. I need to talk to him and drive what I told him. I can trust this one a bit. Let's uh, grab my key fab. <laughs> I'll leave the engine running. I'm up on the mountain. Hey, motherfucker. Where are you? Get from. Wait. Who said that? Brother Dickie. I'm everywhere. Wait. 
Where are you? I'm I'm behind you. I'm on the left of you. I'm on the right of nope. you. I'm everywhere. No. I'm the path Where? to your enlightenment. Come on top yeah, of the stop. mountain. Hey, come on, stop. top of the mountain. Which mountain? The mountain here at Coachella. By a bunch of paint tools and some aliens drawn on the wall. Three of them. Mickey, Dicky, and Ricky. What the fuck? There's also some stairs next to me, and a light guiding the way. Look, man, whatever the fuck this is, better bring Mickey back. I don't trust this shit one fucking bit. Oh, yeah, trust me. Mickey will be brought back to enlightenment. Look, there's never a train through here. The train has been gone since 78. Yeah, no, man. What? Why am I hearing train horns, man? This ain't cool. It's the drugs you're taking. No, no, no. That's probably why you hear me right now. Because Get out of my head, man. Get out of my head, man. Come up on the mountain and we will talk. Fucking mountain, man. I'm on one of them. There's a bunch of paint tools. It's the Coachella Mountain here at Coachella. I can see I'm the tree. I'm next to the tree, man. Go up. I can see the top of the branches of the tree. There are stairs. Beam me up. Uh, why have I never seen this shit before, man? Oh, what the fuck? That is some weird shit. Yo! Yo! What? Where are you at, Brother Dickie? You're right. What's going on? If you could hear me, I would put the gun down. You got 12 different people aiming a gun at you and you don't see it and they could kill you right now. What? I don't want you to die. And maybe we have your brother, so you kill me, he's definitely going to die. If you just come here and listen to what I gotta tell you, you may find the path to enlightenment and the path to where your brother may be. But if you have that gun any further, you could die. I would put it down. I'm not going to hurt you. You and your brother have nice caring souls. And the community of Sandy Shores loves you. Same with the people here at Coachella. But... Man, don't get too close. I want to tell you. Brother Mickey, he has done some very, very terrible things. Yeah, we've all done some very terrible things, man. Look, you know, I mean, we're hippies, we're stoners, we're fucking in our 60s, man. We, hell, we, we, he murdered his wife and I murdered his son, man. We know about that and we want to do the wrongs away from that. That will never ever be, uh, that will never be on your guys' record if you follow the path to enlightenment. Chris Formich, me, myself, I want to make sure that That's not you, possible, man. No, everything's possible. Chris Formich could do anything. I am God, basically. As I said, I am behind you, next to you, left to you. That's why you hurt me down there. See, I don't even got to talk and you can hear me inside your head. No, man, this thing, it this is real. real. See, no, I'm talking no. and you hear no. me. But I'm not talking because I'm mind reading you. Stop, man. Just, just, just stop. So, you want to know where your brother's at, but your brother's done some terrible man. things to man, my man, brothers, my at. family. We don't even know you, though. Yeah, but... We've never even heard of you. But, even though you may have not heard of us, we heard of you. But what your brother has done is he has killed and murdered the innocent of 13 people. What? And they were innocent people. He got on a boat going back to what some would say a specific place that I will tell you if you do what I'm going to tell you in the future and here in a matter of moments but he went on some certain boat and it wasn't the boat he was supposed to go on it was the Epsilon program member boat and then he tied someone up and he put a cinder block on them and threw them overboard and they were innocent they were just talking to him 
trying to show them the path to enlightenment. They mean no harm. They had no guns. Uh, I, they, mean, I mean, if they were doing what you guys have been doing to me, man, I mean, this motherfucker probably deserved it. Yeah, but he didn't touch him. He just was talking to him. Mickey could have walked away at any moment, and he could have left. we told him to go fuck off, man. You guys just keep on hunting us. Like, why? But then again, the Epsilon member program had mentioned that this wasn't the right boat when he hopped on. They yeah, said... What the fuck is this? Is this a cult? No, it's not a cult. It is a path to enlightenment. Do you want answers? Have you searched literature and philosophy for meaning? For years, man has combed the pages of history, searching for enlightenment. Finally, the answers are here. But, not only did he put a cinder block and throw that innocent person overboard, during the trip to where he was heading, he killed 12 innocent people, making that 13, and there was blood everywhere. And I want to tell you where your brother is at, but you need to do something for me, Dickie. Oh, no, man, I, this ain't real. This is real. You're not real, man. This is all a dream. This is all a dream. This is all a dream. Yep, this is all a dream. No, it is not. No, this is all a dream. Get out of my head, man. Get the fuck out of my head. If, if, you, just, if you just stand still, I got something for you. Get out of my head, man. I just want to know where he's at, man. Here, here's a bag. And this bag has a bunch of stuff that Mickey has done. And that is the evidence. What's in this bag, man? It is the evidence of the knife that Mickey has used with his fingerprints on there that he forgot and didn't clean off. The lucky bastard was nice and smart enough to clean all the rest of the fingerprints on the boat, but he forgot this bag, and he forgot some of his blood that is on this knife, and a lot of the blood of my brothers, my family, the Epsilon member program members that were going to a certain location on the boat, but Mickey just chose the wrong boat. It was taking him to the right location. It was just the wrong boat. He was supposed to be on a white boat, but he was on a black boat. So, I may know where your brother's at, but you need to do a favor for me. So, if you do a favor for me, I'll do a favor for you. Hey. What is... What the fuck? Do you want to know where your what? brother's at, right, Dickie? Yeah, man. Okay, well, with that bag of evidence and that video that's in there, too. There's a video that shows everything that Mickey Flowers has done. And... I got this wire right here that I want to give to you so that way when you go talk to the police you're not going to be muted so I can hear everything that you're saying and I want you to go snitch give the evidence to the police the video of him killing all 13 members wait 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 wait, wait. you want me to snitch on Mickey? yes if you want to know where his location is and find out where he's at you must do me a favor because we rather oh. him we rather oh, him man. turn himself in like you instead of hiding from the police but him hiding from the police makes things even worse. And I don't like that. Oh, man. So, if you show them the knife with his fingerprints and the blood evidence and none other than the video evidence of him tying someone up, throwing them over the board, and then killing 12 people on the boat, if you would show that to the cops, then I have proof in here exactly word for word. You show in and tell the cops this and whatnot. And whatnot, maybe you come back and we will tell you where Mickey's at. You want to find out where Brother Mickey's at, right, Brother Dickie? Yeah, man. What the fuck is happening, though? What's happening is your brother did some terrible things to innocent people that meant no harm to him. They had no weapons, no nothing. That boat was 100% clean. Why don't you just let him go, man? We, we, don't, we don't have him. He is hiding. And we don't know where he, well, we know pinpoint locations on where he may be, but we don't know exactly where he's at so, because he is wanted. Wait, he's hiding and you don't have him. Why do you want me to do all this for, though? Because we will give you the pinpoint locations and exactly the state that he went to and where you may find him at because you may know exactly places you guys like to hang. Uh, what the fuck? Let's just note that we know some bikers he's been hanging around with. And you guys belt dealt with dikers in many different, like, countries, like, Indiana, Wisconsin, Georgia, like, L.A., like, every state, basically. You've known so many biker groups throughout the 70-something years that you guys have been alive. What the fuck? Yeah. Remember yeah. when you guys were running from the law back in L.A. with the, yeah. the Lost? 
then you guys killed Johnny. And that was terrible. Wait, no, no, no. We didn't we didn't kill Johnny. You gave orders to other members of the motorcycle club no, to have Johnny no. Club instead. No, no, no. It was Trevor is the one that killed Johnny, man. You told other people that knew a client of Trevor that was called and told by Mickey and Dicky to kill Johnny because they wanted out of the so-called bike club because no, they did some things no, that they did no, not want to do. That's a lie. That's a lie, man. You don't know what you're talking about. You don't know what you're talking about. Oh, just like the times when you guys were being abused by the cops, but it was because you guys protagonized them and brought them in the cell and wanted no, them was, to do that, that. That was police brutality. That all happened in Indiana. That was police brutality. Yeah. I, look, how do you know all this? I know everything. No, you don't, man. You're dicky no. icky cheese. I gave you the evidence to turn your brother in. There's a wire. You could strap it on your chest and go snitch so I could hear and go turn your brother in. And I will give you the pinpoint locations on where he's been. And maybe you could go out there and go talk to him and turn himself in. I'd rather Mickey, brother Mickey, just like you, brother Dickie, turn himself in. So that way he is not going to be getting trumped up charged more than what he is now. Because you know, you guys don't like getting trumped up with charges and hassled, right? No, man. Okay, then. So, I gave you uh, a specific task. If you take this certain task I gave you, and you go do it, and you give what me... What if I don't, man? Then Mickey does not get told on one of the pinpoint locations in the state where he may be at. And you will never find him. And then he will eventually well, get he'll, caught. He'll, fi he'll find me, man. No. He always does. I've been listening and following him for the past few weeks, but he is a slippery, slippery bastard. Some say that he's really sticky and getting away, which I don't think that makes any sense. But, I mean, basically, Brother Dicky, he wants nothing to do with you. He wants nothing to do with Wisconsin. He wants nothing to do with the past people that he's known because he doesn't exist. He is an illegal immigrant. And that means since he's an illegal immigrant... Illegal yeah, he is no longer a part of the United States anymore. His Wisconsin state ID and his birth certificate and another than social security card and everything was taken away. He was given a new identity. And then he decided to leave said boat for some reason to try to find you. But then we found out from some guy from my understanding, from the knowledge I've been doing my research on, Tuco and Paco, who gave him a certain bunch of directions on an escape route who led him to a boat, which was supposed to be a white boat, but he went on to the wrong boat, was, which was a black boat, the Epsilon program boat, and killed innocent 13 uh, innocent people. He was even told when he got on that he was on the wrong boat, and he shouldn't drive it here, but if he wants to go and get on this boat, he is more than a welcome, but he may have to listen in the path to enlightenment. And he didn't like what he had to hear, so he took it into his own words, and he even had a knife, and he was lucky enough, I don't know how, but he took the gun with him. He was lucky enough before he left to turn around and grab the gun, but he forgot the knife. And how, he, did, how did he even kill 13 people and not even get shot at or anything? Because, Epsilon Brothers, we don't carry weapons. We don't believe in fighting. That is not the way to go. So wait. You guys are just blown to die. I could shoot you right here, right now. And you're, it, it, oh, nobody. you shoot me right now? I just pop up right behind you. I never die. Chris Formage is around the whole entire world. As I said, I'm behind you. I'm in your head. You hear that, right? Hey, get out of my head. See? I'm everywhere. So you kill me, I just spawn back alive like it's a video game. I never die. I'm God. See, I decided I didn't want it to rain no more, so I'm showing you the path to the enlightenment. Let the light light the way. What? It's Damn. it's gonna be a brighter future, like I'm just making it, so you can have the path to light you to the police station to turn your brother in. I gave you all that bag and evidence of what your brother's done, and a video to pinpoint everything that he's done. I want you to go in there, put this wire on, so I can hear exactly what you tell the cops, and I want you to tell the cops everything. 
And then once you do, we will meet back here at Coachella. And once I find out that you're back, I will show up and I will tell you the pinpoint locations and what your brother has been doing. Uh, and then maybe you can go talk some sense into him and turn himself in. Because I'd rather him turn himself in like you. So that way things don't get worse. Because if they find out in the place where he's at that he killed 13 people. Which the police are investigating. And there is a whole entire thing going around the okay, world. But, but what happens if he don't turn himself in though? And they find out he killed 13 people. Then he is going to be put on the death penalty. That's, that's, that's messed up man. Well, if you killed 13 people right now, and you were on the news, they would probably want you dead or alive. And if they found you, they would take you to court. Go ahead, talk. Uh, well, yeah, man, that would, that wouldn't, that wouldn't be fair. Well, yeah, it wouldn't be fair, but you would go to court probably if you did the same thing he did and got caught. And they would say 13 innocent people, you deserve to be on the death penalty. Because those people didn't deserve <laughs> to die. So... I mean, he killed 13 people and he gets caught. I wouldn't say that I would want him to be dead like you. But if he goes to court, the judge and the jury will probably say that he is guilty killing 13 innocent people for no reason. When they had no weapons and the boat was clean and he was the only one that had a gun apparently and a knife. Although the gun's not there, but there probably was some chasing kills that they're going to find with those uh, uh, the, the shells that you know that come from the guns. He wasn't smart enough to grab everything, but he was smart enough to clean most of the things that would make it hard for the cops to find evidence. He is a sticky bastard like people say. Uh, it's the name Mickey Sticky Flowers, man. Yep, and you are, you are very icky too because when you get away from the cops, it is a very icky situation for them to try to find you. Uh, sh sure. I've been following you guys. You guys have been doing bad things. Running from the law is terrible. You yeah. guys gotta be better in life. You guys don't need to be felons. I could change that. I don't know. I don't think so, man. But no, I can. I changed it for so many others. And I want to change it for you and your brother, Mickey. But Mickey, he needs to turn himself in so he doesn't make things more complicated. I'd rather him be alive than dead, wouldn't you? Yeah, me too, man. But what? Fuck this. Whatever, man. Alrighty. Just to let you know, you can bust Wait. that wire on. And if you don't, and I head. don't hear you. Get out of my head, man. I'm just letting you know, Brother Dicky. If you don't put that wire on, and I don't hear you at the police station, telling the cops and giving all the information that Brother Mickey has done, and putting more charges onto him, then I will not tell you the pinpoint location where he's at, and you will have done wrong, and Chris Formich and the rest of the Epsilon program, we will not be happy, and things may turn badly on your side, and also your Brother Mickey's side, because... I don't know exactly where he's at, but it's easy to find him, and I can find him and kill him. So, get you don't want your brother head. to die, you best no, do this. So, I will be listening, Brother Dickie. Have fun when you go talk to the police. Why do trees talk? Why are there dinosaurs? Why do people die meaningless deaths? Is there other life in the universe? Why do I have to be monogamous? Hey man, can you hear me? Yeah, I, I hear you. Are you going to snitch on your brother? I'm. Yeah, I'm. I'm here at the station, man. Okay, I can hear you. It's correctly clear through the wire that you're wearing. You do correctly, Chris Formich. He will show you the path into enlightenment and show you where your brother's is. Now ring the bell. <laughs> If I can just flush this evidence and just say I did it. Brother Dickey, I can hear you. You flush the uh, evidence. I will not tell you where your brother's at. You forgot you were wearing a wire. Get out of my head, man. Get out of my head. I didn't even say that out loud. It doesn't matter. I can read your mind. I told you I'm God. You throw the evidence away. Mickey, he may die. Reception. Nope, nope, nope. Not allowed in there. There's, there's a cop no. on, right? 
Yeah, I see, I see Trooper B. Jones. Lockers. Hello. Hello. Sheriff's office. Briefing room. Prosecutor's office. Captain's office and chief deputy. Anybody here? Hey man, if you can hear me, there ain't nobody here, man. Well, you might have to wait until someone shows up and give them the evidence later, so that way you can find out where your brother is. Fuck, yeah. So, until you find a cop, your mission is not complete, and my mission to tell you where your brother's at is not going to be done because you didn't do Come what on, I asked man. you. What if I just leave the bag on the chief's office desk, man? No, because, the because then they can't go through the evidence and get the, the exact uh, things that they need to know on what your brother has done. What if I write it all down in a note? No, just, yeah. that won't work. It's got to be said by him, and you know the said skybox. So until you find what, an what officer, if, what, what if I do a recording and then I I, I I like leave it unlocked or whatever, and it just like stays on repeat? No, you must tell him face to face, so I hear everything you tell them. That video doesn't work. Why do you think you're wearing a wire? So if you don't see a cop there... You got people following me now, man. I see one of your guys across the street. He is everywhere. There's also some guy on the roof. You don't see him, but he's watching you. And I didn't say which roof. Just know a roof. And he's got a sniper on you right now. I can say the word and it could be done. It's not cool, man. It's not cool. Alrighty. Well, if you can't get a cop here to come now... You must wait until you can, and then eventually when you can, we will come back and redo this and make sure you can turn your brother Mickey in. And when you do, I will tell you the location of where he's at. Okay, brother? Dickie? Fuck you, dude. I see you fucked off one of my Uslan members. I don't like that, Dickie. Yeah, what if I kill him right now? You kill him, we kill your brother. We at the Epsilon program know religion is a deeply personal experience. Join us and you will be brought to light. Kiflam. Test, 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 test. Brother Dicky. Who is that? Test, test, test. Who is it? I don't like what you're doing over there. <laughs> oh shit, wait. Hey, come, who are you? come have a seat. Oh, oh, wait, oh. I'm Chris Formich. 
What? Uh, what's with this black bag on the table? You haven't what, done it. It's been days. What, what black bag? Uh, the one with the evidence I gave you the other day. Oh, uh, that black bag. See, what, what had happened was is it, nobody was at the police station, man. Yeah, but it's been days, and you haven't went back in days. I I know, man, but I just been trying to search for Mickey, man. Just, trying my hardest to find him without having to go to the police. I don't want him to get, I don't want to stitch on him. You want to find out where he's at, right? Yeah, yeah, man. Because if you don't, he's going to die. We'll kill him. Uh, no, I don't want to, I don't want to die, man. Well, yeah, then gonna... are you going to go snitch on him? Well, I, I don't want to because uh, it's my best I know you don't want brother. to, but if you don't snitch on him, we will go kidnap him, and we will take him. Uh, and we will kill him. What kind of shit is that, man? Why would, why would you kill kill him? You won't turn him in to make things easier for him, for his life. So you want to make things more rough. So we're going to make things rough for you. You don't want to help him out? Well, we're going to help him out by helping you out, but by not helping you out, because we're going to take him, and by not helping you out... It's going to be a threatening for you because he could die, he could live. You don't know what's going to happen to him because he'll be underneath our watch and you won't know exactly where he's at. Uh... And don't forget, I could talk in your head. I don't even oh, need to talk oh, to you. Oh, 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 man, get, get the fuck out of my head. Well, you better do what you're going to do. I got that wire. I want you to put it back onto you and I want you to go snitch and tell the cops everything. There's CCTV video from our video on the yeah, boat. Yeah, I, I remember, man. I want you to turn them in. There's knives and everything. If not, that bag could be easily gone and missing and you won't know where it would be. But then all of a sudden the police have it and instead of Mickey's fingerprints on there, it would be your fingerprints on there and you would be the one going to jail for killing 13 Epsilon program members. Wait, what? I could change to fingerprints in a heartbeat. I'm God. So do no, you want to no, go to jail? You can't, you can't do that, man. Oh, yes. I could walk into the police station right now, hand them this evidence a bag, and it will have all your fingerprints on there. And the video will show you doing it, not your brother. But I was never there, man. I don't even know where the fuck it was at. You, it wouldn't matter. It would be I you in the... I kidnapped when that shit happened. No, that would be you in the video. And you would be at one at peace, and the police no, would see that no, you seem fine. No. No, 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 you're lying, man. Well, it's either that or I kill your brother, so pick your pick. Do you want to think, make things more complicated, or do you want to make them simpler and just go snitch, and then I tell you where he's at? All right, man, all right. I'll go to the police station. All right, I will be going across the street, and I will be listening. You better make sure I can hear. If not, yeah, there's going to be consequences, gonna, and we're going to kill go, your brother. I'm going to go put on this wire. Yeah, put on the wire and make sure I hear you, and then you let me know when the wire's on, and you grab that bag. Fucking Chris Formage, man. <laughs> and put some wire. Grab this fuck. <laughs> yes, alrighty, let's go. I will follow you there. You are doing good, and you're going to help your brother get found, and he's going to be safe. I got a feeling this guy's fucking full of shit, but whatever. Fucking weirdo, this guy gives me the fuck creeps. If I just leave town, man. And if you creeps. leave town, I hear you. Oh, get, get out of Get out of my head, man. I don't need to. You're trying to act like you don't want to do this. I could kill your brother in a heartbeat. No. Do you want him to die? No, I don't want him to die, man. Oh, I think he's coming in. 
Damn, where is everybody at, man? What the hell? Oh, all right, man. Could you hear him too? No, I can only hear you. But that's all I need to do is hear you only. I need to hear you as Eck was saying you're snitching on him. Hey, man. Uh, my name's Dickie Cheese, and I was. I I know this is gonna sound weird, but I was. I have this bag, and I was tasked to drop it off to you guys. Uh, apparently inside the bag there is a weapon. I don't know if it's got blood on it, and then there is video evidence inside the bag of my brother Mickey, and apparently he killed 13 people on a boat. Mickey Flowers? Yeah, my brother Mickey Flowers. I, he's been lost for like, I don't know, a few weeks. Everybody's been searching for him because he escaped custody. Because I was kidnapped, and I remember Greasy Reed and D. Williams tried to search for me, and then they caught the guy. His name was Marcus Van Dam. But now, because Marcus was after Mickey, and they put Mickey in protective custody somewhere that nobody knew except the the, the police and the feds, and then Mickey somehow escaped protective custody, but nobody can find him. But apparently, some. Kiflum cult leader, I don't know what he is or whatever. His name is Chris, Chris Formage. Hey, he told me he gave me this bag and he told me that I needed to give it to you guys or he was gonna kill Mickey because apparently he knows where he's at, but he won't tell me. His name is Chris Formage, Chris Formage. <laughs> Yeah, you guys got the gun up to Mickey, right? Yeah, like Chris Formage, Formage, whatever it is. I don't know, he's, he's wearing, like, like, I guess they're from Epsilon, whatever that is, or Kraft. I, I don't know, man. I, I've been seeing commercials about it and shit. That, like, to join the Epsilon program, there's there's random-ass people wearing all, like, light baby blue or whatever, and they keep trying to get me to join. Yeah! It's fucking weird. Oh, yeah. Yep, yeah, yep. Yeah, I put it on the ground. Oh, shit. It's normal around these parts, I guess. Oh, he's, he's, he's looking at it right now? Yeah, yeah, he just got back. Okay. Oh, my God. It, like, I, I, I don't know what to do, man. Like, I'm, I'm, I'm worried for my brother, and I don't know how to get a hold of these people. They always end up finding me. What's the point of protective custody? <laughs> oh, what should I do? Oh, well, you don't really want to go to protect because you want to go to well, L.A. Well, I, I, I don't, I don't, I don't know because then, then I won't find Mickey because then he, if he's lost or he's kidnapped, then I, I don't, I don't know, man. I think another cop's walking in. Do I want his protection, or... Well, you kind of want to find out where Mickey's at after uh, you snitch. I mean, I mean I, technically, I'm, 
no, I, I, I do, but I don't. But then again, you know, what? maybe after giving you guys all this shit that someone pops up and then they're going to tell me that I, they know where Mickey's at. Just tell him Chris told you that. I mean, that's what the dude told me. Because he killed his family. So you got a snitch. Uh, all right, man. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, it's sure, man. Uh, Y'all got coffee in here, right? Yeah, yeah. He's gonna go process all that. I'm across the street. Yeah, you know I'm across the street. Oh, and you snitch hey, on me, hey. I'm gonna kill Mickey. Yeah, yeah, I'm not, man. Just don't be so loud in my head, man. <laughs> yeah, he was asking about, and he was like, uh, he was like, I think I should put you in protective custody. He was like, in case this guy tries to kill you. I'm like, uh, I don't know. CCTV show. I chose him to throw a man off a boat with a block making 13. <laughs> Hello? Uh, I think the guy that drives this Dodge is gonna shoot me. You got my back if he does? Uh, I, I understand, guess. man. Yeah, he's, he's said. Hey, let me sit down real quick. He was like, you wanna go hog hunting? And I was like, yeah, I'll shoot some bird and shit like that. He goes, no, let's shoot some pig. Yeah, I understand. Like, goes, let's shoot the cops. <laughs> So I told the cop, and he uh, said, I can't believe not, you just said that. Not particularly. So I think he's going to try and shoot me. Oh, damn. Uh, like, like, I think his like truck's I told your, you want your, to just take his truck, you can get away, here. then he's I, stuck here. I've been getting approached by, you know, yeah, yeah. random Epsilon members. I think that's yeah, that what it is. Though? Or And they, they, they wear, like, baby blue. Yeah, they I keep can't really hear you. I got that, voices in my head right now. I need to... Live I'm in put it over the unity, bar. peace, and transformation, and stuff like that, and fall. It, it, it sounds like all cult shit, but uh, a, apparently the the man named Chris Formage or Chris Formage or whatever it is, he he says he has Mickey and he has evidence of Mickey. Now, rewind back uh, maybe a month or a few weeks back. I was kidnapped by a man named Marcus Van Dam, and Mickey had to go to the police and the feds to connect the dots of where Marcus was keeping me, and Marcus was a cartel leader. They found Marcus, they beat the hell out of Marcus, I'm guessing, and then they sent him to prison, So, and then they found me in a container of a shipping yard, and when they put Mickey in protective custody so Marcus couldn't find him somehow Mickey escaped protective custody and nobody knows where he's at but apparently this Chris Formage does and I was approached by him and he gave me that duffel bag and said that I needed to snitch on him and tell him what happened or whatever I, I I don't know what was in the bag or not uh, I went missing first and now, now yeah now Mickey's missing but he's also I believe he's got a warrant out because he technically escaped protective custody and he ain't got no uh, no ID no nothing on him they took away his citizenship from what I was told by Reed so they're gonna go look for him once they deal with whatever they got done dealing with <laughs> Good. Hey, Chris Warmich, if you can hear me, they said they said that they're uh, 
They're gonna go look for him. Oh, I hear you all right. Meet me back at your place. I'll be there very shortly. Uh, all right, man. Yes, Chris. I saw him. He got in his car. He did very well. He went and snitched. Um, Iron Man. Brother Dick, you better be home. Let's go in the side. Brother Dicky. Brother Dicky. Brother Dicky. Brother Dicky. Yeah. Huh? What? Uh, Brother uh, Dicky. Wakey, wakey. Uh, what? 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 I'm up. Oh. Oh shit. Hey there. Uh, you did, hey, hey you, man. You did what I told you to do. I'm very pleased. You want to uh, see your brother get caught and not be wanted and be better with life. Uh, yeah, yeah, man. So you want to know where he's at? Of course. Well, I'll tell you. He's with this group of bikers that you guys well known. Um, the, the Lost? No, not the Lost. It's a biker group that you may know once you get to the location. It is in L.A. There's this bike called the uh, uh, bar called the Yellow Jack, and there's a biker bar at top. There's a group of people that know you guys very well from back in the day. But just to let you know, we've already killed a bunch of their local people before to get to Mickey. Oh man! We could do it again. Now there's people there that are watching him, but he thinks that they're the top of the line people and not going to get him caught. That's a lie. Because I can kill them instantly, so if I could kill them, I'm pretty sure the cops could kill them. And if the cops know he's there, they're going to get him. And if they find the evidence of the 13 people he killed, then they could kill him and put him on the death penalty. And you don't want that. No, man. So, you go to L.A. I want you to tell your brother, Mickey, tell him to come turn himself in in Wisconsin and do all of his wrongs away. And then other than that, basically, you are going to then find redemption in himself and yourself to the path of enlightenment. And then afterwards, after you find him and he comes to turn himself in, I will be really happy and leave you guys alone. We, you, but you, 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 you promise you'll leave us alone after all that, right? But if he doesn't turn himself in, I mean, you will have problems that will be discussed at a later date. Why would, why would we have problems, man? Because you're supposed to go tell him to turn himself in. And if he doesn't agree, you failed. I gave you the location. Your agreement now is to make sure he turns himself in. So, what do you want me to do? So, you will go to L.A. You will find this biker bar at the Yellow Jack. You will go upstairs, knock on the door. You will tell him your name is Dicky Icky Cheese. They will remember you from back in the day. You guys wrote with them many times before. And then you will go find Mickey, which will be in the back, and you will get to talk to him. And I don't want you guys daydreaming about some blonde girls or people with big asses walking around. Because no, no, man. that's sick, and we don't believe in that. Because babies are not born by a man and a woman. Babies are brought by a stork, so we don't believe in affection. Uh, no, that's, that's, that's not true, man. That is true. You're going to find out eventually one with enlightenment when you find your brother. So I expect for you to go get on a plane right away. Go to L.A. and find your brother. And if you don't, there's going to be problems. And we'll find them. And then you'll get a call, and you might not like no. that call. So... No, I I put on the coffee table out in your living room a flight back to L.A. You go back to L.A., prove me right, and get him to turn himself in, things will be good. Until then, I will be seeing you if you do the job wrong. Oh, man. Hopefully he doesn't do the job wrong or I will have to come back and do bad things. Consequences that he may not like. Oh, get out of my head. I'm sorry. I think this is where... Mickey's supposed to be at, man. Been a while since I've been out here. Hopefully I ain't got no fucking warrants.
Corpus format, it should better be fucking right too, man. Ah, we should look at that. Paco and Tuco came through with the van, man. Hell yeah. Oh, wait a minute. Where's all my shit at? What? Why is my van clean? <laughs> what? What? All oh, the beds out of here. The fucking porn magazine. Oh man, who cleaned out my fucking van? Some bullshit. Oh, my empty beer bottle. Oh, what about my stress weed? My my emergency stress weed. Hold on. Nope, all cleared oh, out. Man, everything's cleared out. What the fuck? Even your title's gone. Oh, damn it. Looks. Let me look in here. No, oh, the title's gone. Ah, oh, fuck. Well, I guess it was dumb to fucking leave my title in the car, anyways. That's kind of stupid. <laughs> Whatever. Nah, I guess I'm on my way. What the fuck is going on? Oh, what the fuck? Oh shit, that was a train that just got derailed. Ah. Yeah. All I know is Mickey better be fucking here, man. He said at the bar at the top. Yes, that is correct, Brother Dicky. Oh shit. Man, you, you really got to stop doing that, man. Get out of my head. <clears throat> I'll get out of your head once you do what you do and make your brother turn himself in. Look, look, I'm already here, man. I'm already in L.A. You know it took me about a freaking week. I know, and now you got to go make sure he turns himself in. You were doing a good job, Brother Dickie. So I got to bring him back to Wisconsin and turn him into L.A.? I mean, he's got to go back to Wisconsin because it won't count if he goes to L.A. Uh, you're right. Uh, yeah. Maybe RP that you know some local people when you walk in. Hey, what's up, Timmy? Ah, oh, that match, man. Ah, oh, hey. Whoa, 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 whoa! Hey, the, get, the, get, get, what is this guy doing here? Get, get him out of here! Who is this guy? What's your hey, name? Man, it's Dicky Cheese, man. Everybody knows me. Do you guys know a Dicky Cheese? Oh yeah, you guys yeah. do. Oh you, yeah. When did you guys meet him? Back in the seventies. Man, man. Wait a minute. Cool. You were you, you were part of the Flaming Skulls. Yeah, man. Oh well, hold on. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Are you the infamous uh, Icky Sticky? Dicky Icky Cheese, man. Oh, 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 yeah, yeah, yeah. Your, 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 your brother Flowers is back there. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Is he in the back? I can go see him. Yeah, he's in the back. He, but before you yeah. go, stop, stop, stop. We gotta search what? you. What? Search him. Oh. See if there's any guns in him. T five. We're taking. We're checking you, man. There not be any guns in you. This man is a really wanted man. Alright, man. You can go on in. Alright, man. Thanks, hey, man. I'm just here for him. What the fuck? Yo. Yo, yo, yo. Yo, hold up. What was that? That was the AOP change. But I, I don't know why it changed because it said Sandy, but it's always said Sandy. Yo, what the fuck? Wait a minute, Dicky? Oh shit, there's some deja vu, some scary music playing, some guys have been following me, man. Hey, what's going on, man? I'm, 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 I'm scared. Dude. These guys, they're following me, man.
fan. I'm sorry, man. I'm so glad to see you. No, no, man. These guys have been following me, man. I'm sorry, man. You know, uh, remember I got kidnapped by Marcus? Yeah, man. Whatever. Did, did, did they ever catch them? Yeah, they caught him, and uh, apparently he ain't doing too good, but he's he's out of the country in prison. Oh, oh shit. Uh, that's yeah, good. They, uh, apparently, uh, one of the officers told me, I'm not supposed to say this, but they, uh, they, 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 they kind of kidnapped him. And from the uh, the holding cell and like body suited his ass and put him to sleep and then they, they they he woke up and he was in somebody's garage and they beat the fuck out of him man. I mean he kinda deserves that. He kidnapped you man and he, he was deserved everything. He was calling me, threatening me that he was gonna kill you and kill me. Yeah, I know man, he stole my phone and everything. But hey listen, I've been being I've been followed by some weird people wearing blue. Uh, 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 oh yeah, I, I, I've been I've been been followed by those guys too. I yeah, th I think no, they're man. a cult. Yeah, they are, and they want me to join. But you know, I know about what you did on that boat, Nikki. <laughs> did what on the boat? Left those Wisconsin people. to come here those to L.A. because I got a warrant. Those twelve, those twelve people, Mickey. Twelve. Twelve people plus mm. the thirteenth and the thirteenth one that you threw off board. How how did you find that out? Because there's video evidence, Mickey, and now the cops have it. What do you mean the cops have it? I don't want to say this, but I was basically told to go snitch on you, and I gotta bring you back. The, uh, the fuck? I ain't going I'm back. So, I'm sorry, man. Look, you snitched. You know, I I was. The fuck's your problem? Told, why 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 would you snitch to. on me? You, you know I we had a pat. You know we had Pat. I know, I know, but I the didn't fuck? mean to, man. I didn't mean to. <sighs> fuck. They, they, they told me that the, the Epsilon people said they were gonna kill you and they were gonna hire these fucking bikers to fucking slice your throat open. These, they know every. Uh, these guys know everything that's going on right now. The fuck? I mean, I don't. This foreman knows everything. Oh, he's inside me. He's inside your head. No, we'll no, 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 he, no, he can't be inside my head. Brother Mickey, yes, I know all. Ha, huh? no, no, what, no. I'm telling you, man, he knows where we're no. at. No, you know, what, what the hell, man? I had a bag of evidence that had a video camera of you killing 13 people on a boat and the murder weapon, and I was told to send that to the police in Wisconsin, and if I didn't, then they were gonna kill you. Oh, oh, sh then, oh shit! Oh, oh shit! Oh shit! Oh shit! What's that red dot on your head, brother Dicky? You better make sure he turns himself in. You see that red Mickey. dot? I could look, kill Mickey. you. Look, Mickey. Look, look. They're they're telling me right now that they, that you gotta turn yourself in. I, I'm hearing it, man. They're talking about killing you. We, yeah. Mickey, brother Mickey. Oh, he's he's gonna get killed no. unless you turn yourself in. No, no, no. I don't wanna. No, I don't wanna. You gotta go with him to Wisconsin, or he dies. You know. Look, Mickey, I'm. Look, I'm, 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 I'm fearing for my life too, man. We, we, we just have to go back to Wisconsin. I'm sorry, man. I can't go. Mickey, please. They're gonna kill me, and then they're gonna kill you. Now nah, this stuff is all fake. I don't believe it. No, it's not, man. I promise. I swear to God, it is. I've been here for about a month. I feel safe. If I was in Wisconsin, I'd be probably locked up or dead by now. No, no, man. You, you're not listening, Mickey. These people are crazy. Nah, because they act and seem crazy, but, I mean, as easy as... Brother Mickey, to... we're not fake, and we're not crazy. We just want you to learn. No, 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 no. Shut up. Get out of my head. I'll just throw you guys overboard and kill you like I did last time. Tis, 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 tis. That's not a good brother, Mickey. Now go turn yourself in. No, uh, or else. Sorry, sorry, Dickie. You, you might as well just come visit me tomorrow. I'm gonna go to sleep tonight. I'm, I'm not turning myself in. I'm sorry, man. Maybe, maybe you could go talk to Ricky and get Ricky to come talk to me. Maybe, maybe I'll. The Ricky was dead, man. Allegedly, apparently, he's still alive. I don't know, man. But I don't I'm know, because I can't go back. So he could be dead, I don't know. I'm, I'm not allowed back in Wisconsin. I'm an illegal immigrant. That's what I'm saying, bro.
these people. Just let's just come back, and they'll give you your identity back. Yeah, and I'm gonna go to jail. I I I listen to Tuco and Paco. They put the radio, uh, the, the little CB thing on where they could tap into like the radio. And I heard a uh, Mr. Greasy, a uh, M Hunt, and a uh, M uh, Mr. Reed. They were sitting there talking about when they find me, they're gonna take me to a garage. They're gonna jump me. And they're gonna beat me up. And then they're going to arrest me, and I'm going to be probably getting sentenced to life because I, I did something very terrible, man. Ah, oh, man, they won't, they won't do that because I'll be there right there with you. No, that's not what they said. On, uh, I, I, I got video evidence of tapped in to the radio of them doing it. That's, that's not true, man. You just... Just, now you're come doing, on, man. Now, just, just come back with me. No, no, you're just trying to get me back. You already snitched on me, man. I don't trust you anymore. It's not even like that, Mickey. No, I don't trust you, man. Uh, how are you going to say to me that you don't trust me, bro? You, I you turned me in. You. you turned me in. Yeah, but hold on, Mick. I killed your son for you, man. Yeah? You didn't have to kill him. You chose to kill him because he was being a no, snitch. No, you wanted me to. No. You told me I had to. No, I didn't tell you to. We both had to make that decision because if not, he would have snitched and we would have went to jail and fucked around and he would have found out. Regardless, dude, shit, we could do a life sentence over, like, on my head twice, man. You know how many life sentences we've already had in our fucking life? And yeah, and as, and, as long, and as long as I stay out here and I mind to myself, I ain't gonna deal with that nonsense. No. Oh. Come on, Mickey. No. Nope. You gotta come back with me, man. No. Nope. Later, man. I gotta go do some business. Bro, they're, they're gonna come after you. No, they're not gonna come after me. I promise they will. Nah, man. Come on, Mickey. Come back with me, man. Nah, I can't come with you, man. Where's but brother Dickie, you have to come with brother Dickie. It's, it, no, it's not in the garage. Oh yeah, there it is. Come on, Mickey. Let's 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 just go back. I'll drive. Nah, you. man. I'm not going back. You can go back. Yeah, I'm gonna go back, and then I'll. Don't worry, man. I'll drive. Hey, man. Hey, don't worry. I'll be back, man. Dude, hey, Biggie, fuck, now what I do, uh, Mr. Formage, can you hear me? Yes, I hear you, I'm a little upset. I'm about to give you a call. I'm watching Mickey and seeing where he's going though. You messed you, up. Now we got people going to look for him. And I see exactly where he's going. And once he gets to the location, we're going to get him. No, man. I'll, I'll go get him. No. You think you're going to go get him, but you're not going to go get him. Ring, ring, ring. Ring, ring, ring. Hello? Ah, oh, Brother Dickie, how's it going? Um, it's, it's alright, man, I guess. You wanna know something that you did? Uh, what'd I, what'd I do, man? You failed. Uh, you just, you, just, please don't tell Mickey, man. Well, you wanna know something? As That's you, as you, as you hear this noise in the background, there, there's doors being opened right now. Yeah, uh, 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 and they got the door open. Hey, what, yeah. you, what you guys doing in here? Hey, get, get, get out of here. Ah, get, get. Uh, uh, yeah, uh, let's get go. Let's get him. Get Brother Mickey. Let's go. Ah, uh, you need a peace and transformation, yeah. Brother Mickey. How do you guys get him? Ah, uh, now I want you to take him to the mountain. You know where it is. All right, I appreciate it. Yeah, so Brother Dicky, I don't want to inform you just now. Your brother went to the Ace Liquor. 
He is being kidnapped right now. You might be able to save him if you make it there in time. But I have one of my Epsilon member programs there right now, and the members Come of that pro- and the members of that program are getting him. If you don't get there in time, he belongs to the Epsilon program. Have a oh, nice right. day, Talk brother really Dicky. Click. Meanwhile, must get Mickey. Eh, fucking pigs. Fuck the fucking pigs. Eh, fucking pigs. Peace. Fuck the fucking pigs. Trump. Unity. Fuck Peace. the pigs. And transformation. Unity. Peace. Transformation. Welcome, my brother Mickey. What uh, the fuck? Unity. Peace. And transformation, brother Mickey. Just carry me. What? Unity? What are you talking about, man? You're coming with us? You'll take me down to the trunk, you'll let me go, and I'll just hop in the trunk. Where are we going, man? Yeah, it's Hey, get me out of here. You should put like tape on my mouth or something. Mm. Hey, hey, what are you doing? Get, get your hands up. Get, get your hand. Do I what? What are you doing? Mm. <laughs> you should do a GME kidnaps Mickey flowers. The Epsilon program finally got Mickey. Taking you to uh, the mountain. mountain. Yep. And then after we get to the mountain, then we'll go to LA. All right. Good, good, good. I'm glad that you got the guy. It took a long time. He is really sticky. He was very sticky, I am sir. But I have him. He is now with us. Good, 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 Brother Keflon. Bring him back to the cult, and we will turn him into an Epsilon program member. En route, Brother Keflon. Sir, it's fine, sir. Good. Unity. Inner peace. And transformation, Brother Kiflam. Good. I will see you shortly. Yes, Click. Peace 
and transformation. Unity, peace, and transformation. a mountain and you could pick me up and throw me on the rock. Is the Epsilon program. Why have so many famous people sorted everything out? What's holding me back? Why aren't I more successful? How much does wisdom cost? Can I pay money and have all of life's answers? Yes. 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 We speak 160 languages on six continents. We are the Epsilon program. Why do trees talk? Why are there dinosaurs? Why do people die meaningless deaths? Is there other life in the universe? Why do I have to be monogamous? Do you want answers? Have you searched literature and philosophy for meaning? For years, man has combed the pages of history, searching for enlightenment. Finally, the answers are here. We at the Epsilon program know religion is a deeply personal experience. Join us, and you will be brought to light. Greetings, seekers of enlightenment. Today, I invite you to embark on a journey towards the freedom, towards the higher consequences. Welcome to the Epsilon program. Welcome, brother, brother. Welcome. You see, they said I was a charlatan, a fraud, a nothing. But I am a miracle. Look and behold in wonder. And ask yourself, what does mighty Chris Formage, leader of the Epsilon program, do with his enormous power? Why, he uses it to watch people, of course. Join me any time you like in watching. In the world of wrestling, there are those 
who have emerged the power of transformation and finding their true selves. The demon Finn Balor has shown us that our inner demons can be harnessed and used to fuel our journey towards enlightenment. Life is a complex web of illusion that clouds our perception, but within the chaos, there is a path, a path to enlightenment. As Bray Wyatt once said, fear is not real, it is a product of thoughts you create. Fear is a choice. <laughs> Transformation. Transformation. Unity. Inner, inner peace. peace. And transformation. transformation. Unity. Unity. Inner peace. peace. Transformation. Transformation. Just like Gold Dust, he has emerged in the true identity, sharing brightly in the darkness we too can embrace our uniqueness within the epsilon program it was a million tiny little things that when you add them up it just meant that we were supposed to be together mm, us. within the epsilon program we challenge conventional beliefs and embrace the teachings of broken man hardy who proclaims I am the vessel that contains the essence. I am the broken one. Delete! 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 Unity. Unity. Inner peace. peace. Transformation. Transformation. Unity. Unity. Inner peace. peace. Transformation. Transformation. Unity. Unity. Inner peace. Inner peace. Transformation. Just like the boogeyman, he has faced his fears and emerged stronger. We too can conquer our own fears and find liberation within the Epsilon program. You will recite the Epsilon ritual in an ancient practice that connects us to the divine cleansing our souls and opening our minds to the profound mysteries of existence. Unity, Unity inner peace, inner peace transformation. transformation. Unity, Unity, inner peace, inner peace transformation. transformation. The NWO and D-Generation X have harnessed the power of enlightenment and unity and rebellion within the Epsilon program. We unite as one powerful force, challenging the names and paving our own path towards enlightenment. Just as The Undertaker, a legendary figure in the world of wrestling, has faced the darkness and risen time and time again, we too shall rise above the challenges that come our way. And like Cain, the big red machine, who has harnessed the power of fire, we shall harness the fiery passion within ourselves to ignite positive change in this world. Fear is not real. It is a product of our thoughts you create. Fear is a choice. <laughs> The Bullet Club has shown their strength in numbers and the power of loyalty. Within the Epsilon program, we stand together, supporting and uplifting one another on our journey to the path of enlightenment. Joining the Epsilon program is not about losing oneself, it's about finding oneself. Broken Matt Hardy once said, I have seen the darkness, and I have merged the vessel of light. 
Delete! 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 Unity, Unity. inner peace, and transformation. transformation. Unity, inner, inner peace, peace, and transformation. transformation. Unity, Unity, inner peace, peace. Transformation. transformation. Through Chris Formage's wisdom, we become architects of our destiny, rewriting the script of our lives and embracing a higher purpose. John Moxley has broken free from the chains of conformity, reminding us that true freedom lies in embracing our demons and ourselves but we help you change that here in the Epsilon program but John Moxley harnesses the power to find enlightenment just like the Epsilon program as I prepare to embrace my true calling I extend an invitation to all those who seek meaning who yearn for spiritual awakening together we can reshape our world one enlightened soul at a time. Unity, Unity inner peace, peace transformation. transformation. Unity, Unity, inner peace, peace transformation. transformation. In the words of Broken Man Hardy, Join the Epsilon program, and together we shall delete the negativity that plagues the world. Delete! 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 Brother Nero once proclaimed, we shall cleanse this world of its impurities and lead others towards ultimate enlightenment. Seth Rollins has shown us the power of redemption and transformation. Within the Epsilon program, we too can find redemption and reinvent ourselves, becoming anarchists of our own destiny. Roman Reigns, the Bay Dog, has taught us the importance of strength and resilience within the Epsilon program. We tap into our inner strength, rising above adversity and leading others towards enlightenment because we are the ones we are the epsilon program join me in the epsilon program where broken souls find their purpose and rise delete delete Come on, man. What do you want, man? Brother Mickey. Come on, man. We have finally caught you. Hey, what do you want from me, man? Everything could have been so easy, Brother Mickey. It was easy. You guys would have just left me alone. You've done so much bad. So much negativity. Hey, those guys deserved it on the boat. They wouldn't you leave me alone. You seek positivity. And Brother Dickie has a task ahead of him now. A task? What do you mean a task? He has to snitch on you and show the whole evidence of you killing all those people on the boat and not, while wearing not, a wire. No, he's not going to snitch. He would never do that. Either he snitches or I kill you. No, 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 I can't die. Then he has to finish the job. Uh, no, no, please, no. Anything. You will be transformed into one of us. You will learn unity, inner peace, and transformation. You will embark in the journey of our enlightenment. No, come on, please, no. Aliens exist, Brother Mickey. No, no, that's not true. They don't exist. They definitely do. Life is complex web of illusions that our cloud of perceptation, but within chaos there is a path a path to enlightenment 
and let fear. you in. Fear is not real. No fear is fear. real. I get pulled over, I get scared. It is a product of your thoughts that you only create. Fear is a choice. No, 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 that, and it's not a choice. I don't want to be scared. With the Epsilon program, we challenge conventional beliefs to embrace teachings of broken Matt Hardy, who proclaims, I am a vessel and contains his essence. No, it's his essence? What does that even mean, man? Through daily rituals of unity, inner peace, and transformation, we unlock the hidden potential within ourselves. Brother Nero once declared, we are the warriors of light. We shall cleanse this world with impurities and lead others towards ultimate enlightenment. Ultimate enlightenment? What are you, what are you talking about, man? You, Brother D Mickey, will be ultimately enlightened and we will show you the way of unity, peace, and transformation. You will now be one of us. You are now Brother Mickey. You will no longer have the name Mickey Sticky Flowers. You will no longer know the name Mickey Sticky Flowers. You will no longer know the name Mona Mickey Jr. You will know Dicky Cheese, but you will know him as Brother Dicky, and he will not betray you, and if he does, you must do what needs to be done. Chris Formage is all that you know, and you will know unity, peace, and transformation. Alright, let's. Join me, brother. Kiflam, my brother. Kiflam from Kraft. Salon. Kiflam, happiness is yours. Kiflam, all. Trees can talk, but only some people can hear them. Aliens exist, are present on Earth. If you have a birthmark, you may be descended from Kraft. Kraft is the famous emperor of the fourth paradigm. You, Brother Mickey, now have been transformed. You now know inner peace. You now know unity. And now you have your hair back. Unity, inner peace, transformation. Unity, inner peace, transformation. I am now one with Chris Wormage, Brother Chris. That is good, my brother Mickey. We must you seek and get Dickie Cheese to be a part of the Kivlon group and honor Chris Wormage. That is the way of life, and that is a fact. Brother Mickey. And if Brother Dicky decides not to, I must do what Chris Formich would want me to do and stab him. Brother Mickey has been transformed, and Brother Mickey now knows peace and unity. Brother Dicky, we have a message for you. Do the task at hand, or there is no longer Mickey. The Epsilon program offers a path to redemption, to clarity of mind and purpose. Are you ready to embark on this extraordinary journey? The choice is yours. The Epsilon program will be waiting for you. I hope you make the right choice, Brother Kiflam. <laughs>